Well, you were a motivational speaker. I mean, <laughs> how, did, how did you motivate people? Well, you have to get them to feel. That's right. And, uh, and most people, it's sad to say, are motivated by fear. Uh, that's the only way they'll mm. get. It's that FOMO, that fear of missing <laughs> out, that fear of I'm not going to live a meaningless life. And actually, in a way, that's we, we're going to talk about fear in the future. But I think that is it's actually a good thing, because imagine if we were so complacent with our lives and we didn't really think it was important to do anything meaningful. We wouldn't have that motivation. We'd just be like, oh, you know, I'll just go through life and maybe you'll have this like vanilla life, but it won't have that kind of um kind of juice. So some people are motivated by fear. Other people are motivated by the possibility, but more likely it's fear. It's, mm. it's really um, the, the life force. And so when we talk about defining emotions, which we will, fear is not a bad thing. It, but if, if it's not used, it can be destructive. So, so that's how we, you, you, most people are motivated. Not that you would go out as a speaker and motivate them through fear, but through that it's almost like the speaker talks about aspiration and then the person feels this missing out within themselves. Like it's arising from within the mm, person. So the motivator okay. is not um, putting fear into the people. It's basically awakening that fear of what if I don't make something in my life? What if I'm missing out on something? And if you don't know, like when I was younger, before I listened to like everything is possible in your life, I just thought I was reacting to life. But then mm. when you're you're given that idea that you can create your life, then the, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I I can't like just sit on my bum and, and wait for, you know, myself to be discovered. I have to go make it happen. And it creates a sense of, kind of movement and urgency, which is, I think is good. Yeah, that's and then also being in a community of people that are moving and creating things in your life that also generates fear. Not the community doesn't generate the fear, but in the person who's not moving forward and not, it makes them say, well, I could do that too. Why am I not doing that? And so it helps everyone be better. Everyone grow. That's interesting. Yeah. Cause you would think, well, motivational speakers are, are inspiring people and getting them to move. But you're saying, no, the, uh, the other side of the coin is the fear that the individual is working with continuously. And, and I guess that's what has held them back, right? And there are some people that use fear, motivational people that use fear to, you know, get people to buy stuff and all that. No, I, don't I mean, mean, there's I, all that, but there's, but it really, it's in the person that the person's the one, no one can actually put fear into you. It's like mm. your own, like if it's ripe for you, it's like you're, you're, you, it's awakening that uh, part of you that wants to grow. And uh, then there's this fear of what if I don't, and you know, life is going by and we should have that urgency because we're only here for, you know, a certain amount of time. We should feel that.